Hello guys, in this video I would like to talk about how to escape the outside Ashigurami. I think there is a very difficult position to escape from and it requires the knowledge of the right mechanics to escape. So what is an outside Ashi position? Is when <clears throat> my partner has an entanglement on my leg and two feet on the same side. Okay, so to escape this position, the first thing you want to do, you want to stand up, but you have to do it safely. So first, you hide your heel, but don't keep your foot too close to his elbow as you hide your heel, because that would expose you to stray ankle lock and, uh, and the Aokis. So get your foot deep, so it doesn't have the right line on your ankle to finish you, and turn your heel towards his back. So that will protect you uh, for a while from his heel loops. Now, another thing you don't want is his knee coming in front of your belly, because that will allow him to rip your knee and expose your heel. So the first thing we do, we block the knee, we bring our elbow in front of it, and we grab his waist at the same time. That will isolate his knee away from my belly. So if he now tries to turn his, belly in front of my, his knee in front of my belly, it's very hard. Now, standing up in this position is quite difficult if you don't do the right thing. First thing you want to do, you want to bring this leg like so, like a butterfly uh, wing. That will allow you to stand up easy, like you're rolling on your leg to stand up easier your knee. And this foot is there, this leg stays straight and the foot flexing up, so it's not easy for him to rip your knee or touch your foot. Now, because for you to stand up, you have to turn your body away. Don't, don't turn your body away, your knee as well, because again, you're exposing yourself to heel loops. You have to turn just the upper body. It feels quite unnatural at the beginning, but you will get used to it. So keep your leg straight, pointing that way, and your upper body pointing this way, bring the hand on the floor, and that's when standing up is made easy by this leg, because your leg twisted. So you go forward and go in this combat position. The first thing you want to do, you want to make this foot super heavy. Also, the outside knee, you want to bring it close to his butt, so it protects you from uh, butterfly hooks, which is the foot going inside, okay? So as you're here, you bring your knee very close to his butt. So if you try not to access, it's very hard, okay? Now from here, again, I'm always, I'm always wary of his knee position. I don't want his knee to get in front of me. And also remember, all these movements is gonna be a sequence. You're not gonna stop too much in one, in one spot because it's gonna be on the floor again. So once you get to this point, you stand up and make the foot super heavy. Now, keep the position. Now from here, I want to like take his legs down my knee line. But if your knee is bent, it gets hard. So you wanna make your leg as straight as possible. And a good way to do so, to have also good balance, is to bring this foot together with the other. And now, look, it comes more and more straight, and I can bring this leg down. But you have to do it from this position in one row. So I'm here, I take my time, and when I'm ready, one, two, three, I bring my feet together, boom, push down, 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 and now I free my knee line. Once I'm in this position, it's quite uncomfortable for him to hold my foot even if he tries to hold my foot with his hand, with his arm, his arm, because his knee is crushing on his own shoulder, he can safely pull it out, and now we are in a passing position. Let's see one more time. I've been outside Ashi, I defend my foot, hide my heel, stop the knee from coming in front of my belly. If he's coming, push it away. Make sure it doesn't turn toward me and bring my arm across and use my elbow and my knee connection to isolate, isolate his knee away. I bring my foot straight there. His leg is gonna go in a butterfly wing so I can roll over my knee. And as I turn my body this way, my foot is staying straight, pointing that way. And I get to a combat position and then straight away I stand up. When I'm ready, I free my knee line. Keep my leg outside, and we can pass. One more time.
Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned from this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. More videos to come.